In this video, we will demonstrate how to properly perform a travel adjustment on a Helm Air Mark II front fork. Clean the entire fork before starting this procedure. Remove the protective caps from the top and bottom of the fork. Unthread the negative air spring charge button. With the charge button pressed down, simultaneously remove all of the air from the top of the fork. With all of the air removed from the fork, now it's time to remove the lowers. Using a 13 mm wrench, loosen but do not remove the compression rod foot nut. Using an 18 mm wrench, loosen the rebound knob assembly. With both foot nuts loose, but not completely unthreaded, Push on the compression rod nut and rebound knob assembly to disengage your lowers. Completely unthread the compression rod nut and rebound knob assembly and remove them from the fork. Lie the fork facing down flat on a protective surface. Grab the lower and upper assemblies of the helm fork with each hand. Carefully pull and separate. Leave the lowers lying face down to prevent any oil loss. If oil is lost, we can add some later on in the process. The helm's air spring will have to be uninstalled to adjust the fork's travel. Be careful not to scratch the air spring's compression rod. Press the negative air spring charge button and compress the spring to minimize this risk. Using a pick, carefully remove the retaining ring from the air spring stanchion tube. With the fork legs facing up, visually inspect the air spring seal head, retention ring, and retention ring bore within the stanchion tube. Reinstalling this properly after your travel change has been made will be critical. With the retaining ring removed, slide the air spring up the stanchion tube exposing the air piston. Identify the top out bumper and nylon washer. At this point, you will be able to adjust your travel. To add fork travel, remove the desired amount of travel reducing spacers. Remember, each travel spacer adds or removes 10 millimeters of travel. Depending on the desired travel setting, Cane Creek uses two types of travel reducing spacers, the standard red travel spacer and the volume reducing black travel spacer. To decrease the fork's travel, add the desired amount of travel reducing spacers to the air spring's compression rod between the nylon washer and the air spring's piston. Be sure not to block the negative air spring charge ports on the compression rod. Apply a light coating of grease before reinstalling. Reinstall the travel adjusted air spring assembly into the stanchion tube until the seal head is past the retaining ring bore. Install the retaining ring. Start with one end of the retaining ring seated into the bore and work in a circle to install. It is extremely important to ensure that the air spring retaining ring is fully seated into the stanchion tube. To verify that the retaining ring is fully seated, depress the negative air spring charge button and pull the air spring compression rod to full extension. Inspect the O-rings located on the ends of the assemblies. Replace if necessary. Fully closing both the high speed and low speed compression adjusters and adding a fresh coat of suspension grease to the wiper seals will aid in the reassembly. Note the orientation of the flanges located inside the bottom of the lowers. Align the flanges on the compression rod and damper rod to the flanges inside the lowers. With the lowers still lying face down on a protective surface, carefully feed the fully extended compression rod and damper rods into the lowers. Work the stanchion tubes past the wiper seals. Ensure that the wiper seals are not folded or bound up as the stanchion tubes slide into position. If any fork oil from the lowers was lost, now is your time to replace it. Cane Creek recommends using 15 weight Motorex racing fork oil, five milliliters in the air spring side, and seven milliliters in the damper side. Use blue Loctite on both the rebound knob assembly and the compression rod nut. Tighten the rebound knob assembly to seven Newton meters and tighten the compression rod nut to five Newton meters. With your travel adjustment completed, add the desired amount of PSI and charge your negative air spring. Remember to reinstall your protective caps. Thank you for watching this Cane Creek service video. For more information, please visit us at canecreek.com.